Relational operators are used for comparing variables, literals, and expressions. The seven relational operators supported by Python are as shown on your screen. Remember, all relational operators will yield Boolean values as output. That means the output of a relational expression will be either true if the condition is satisfied or it will be false if the condition is not satisfied. So whenever we are looking to express something in the form of a condition, we will use relational operators. So relational operators are that's why known as conditional operators because they help to express conditional statements. Let's look at the relational operators one by one. In the cell that I've currently highlighted, we can see that myvar1 has been initialized to 15 and myvar2 has been initialized to 27. So if I want to check whether myvar1 is greater than myvar2, so if I perform a greater than checking, I find that myvar1 has a value of 15, myvar2 has a value of 27. Now 15, myvar1, I'm comparing myvar1 with myvar2, and I'm carrying out the comparison using the relational operator greater than. Is myvar1 greater than myvar2? Obviously not, because myvar1 is 15 and myvar2 is 27. 15 is not greater than 27. So if I execute this cell, I will get the Boolean value false, like we can see on the screen. The result is false. Now remember, the greater than relational operator has an opposite operator called the lesser than or equal to. So greater than and lesser than or equal to are opposite of each other. Think about it logically. If myvar1 is 15 and myvar2 is 27, and if I'm checking whether 15 is lesser than or equal to 27, what will I get? I will get true because yes, 15 is less than 27. So in this case, if I execute the cell, I'll get the value as true. So this proves that greater than and lesser than or equal to are opposite of each other. Now, if we look at the next cell, we find that we get the value as true because this time we are checking whether myvar2 is greater than myvar1, which is the case here because 27 is greater than 15. Now, again, if we take the opposite of greater than, which is lesser than or equal to, we will get false because myvar2 is not less than myvar1 because myvar2 is 27, myvar1 is 15, 27 is not less than 15, neither is it equal to 15. So that's why we get a value of false. Now, if you look at the next cell, now we are comparing myvar1 and myvar2 using the lesser than operator. In this case, we find that myvar1 has a value of 15, which is lesser than the value of myvar2, which is 27. As a result, the output comes out to be true. The opposite of the lesser than relational operator is the greater than or equal to relational operator. We will get now the output as if I execute this cell, the cell which I've currently selected with the greater than or equal to, I find that the result is false because my var1, which is a value of 15, is not greater than the value 27, neither is it equal to the value 27. As a result, this comes out to be false. Now, if we look at the next cell again, now we are comparing my var2 with my var1 using the lesser than operator once again. So my var2 is 27, my var1 is 15, 27 is not less than 15. As a result, we end up getting false on executing the cell. Again, the opposite of lesser than is greater than or equal to. So if I try this with the greater than or equal to, I'll get true because my var2, which is 27, is indeed greater than 15. As a result, it comes out to be true. Even if I change my var1 to 27, I'll get the output as true. Why? Because myvar2 is now no longer greater than myvar1, but remember it is equal to myvar1. So this operator greater than or equal to checks whether the expression on the left hand side of it, which in this case is myvar2, is either greater than or equal to the expression on the right hand side of the relational operator. So in this case, it is greater than. In fact, in this case, it's not greater than because 27 is in st is stored in both the variables. 27, the same value 27 is stored in both the variables. So in this case, one variable is not greater than the other. They're equal. As a result, we still get the output as true. 
and the next relational operator is the equal to operator. Now, if two variables are containing the same value, we will get the output as true, as we can see here, because my var1 and my var2 both contain the value 10. Now, the opposite of equal to, as you have guessed, is not equal to. In this case, we will get the output as false, because my var1 and my var2 are equal, because both contain the value 10. So obviously, they are equal to each other. And if I perform an inequality check, if I perform a check using the not equal to operator, then the output would be false, as I can see here. If you found this video useful, do like it and subscribe to our channel. If you have any doubts, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I hope you found this video useful. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.